Sitting directly on top of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where two vast plates are pulling away from each other, Iceland is one of the most volcanic places on Earth. In 1783, the plates are particularly restless. As they lurch violently apart, a 30-kilometer crack in the Earth's surface, known as the Larky Fissure, rips open. Along its length, 130 bubbling craters spew out billions of tons of molten rock and will continue to do so for eight fiery months. It is the largest eruption on Earth in the last 500 years. That makes Lackey one of the greatest eruptions in history. As Lackey erupts, over 40 billion tons of lava spill out of the fissure, enough to engulf a city the size of Chicago. Normally, when lava is exposed to air, it cools and solidifies, which limits how far it can travel. But the lava from Larky was able to travel for hundreds of kilometers, thanks to an underground system. Led by local guide Bjorn Hjorsen, Thor explores the remnants of this subterranean network, known as lava tubes. The caves are created when the upper layers of lava form a crust, protecting the free-flowing molten rock below from the cold air. Look at that level of the lava river right there. And up here, part of the roof is remelting, and you can even see these nice little droplets coming down. This shows how hot this environment was at the time, how hot the lava is, how hot the gas is right above the lava, because to form this, the temperature needs to be at 1,100 degrees C. These are the key to making long lava flows. When you transport the lava through these kind of systems, it just stays fluid and hot all the way down until it breaks out of the transport system. Traveling through the tubes, Larky's lava spreads over 60 kilometers before eventually resurfacing. In total, the molten rock raises 20 villages to the ground. Larky also hurls out millions of tons of ash and toxic gases, poisoning the soil and crops. Three quarters of Iceland's sheep and more than half of all its livestock die. The people soon follow. Because of starvation and other diseases, about 21% of the Icelandic population perished as a consequence of the Larky eruption. But the Larky eruption is to have an even more disastrous effect on the rest of the world. Although remote, Icelandic volcanoes can have far-reaching consequences, as recent events prove. The cloud from Larky engulfs a vast part of the Northern Hemisphere and carries with it something far more deadly than just ash. A total of 120 million tonnes of sulfur dioxide were emitted into the atmosphere where it reacted with atmospheric vapour to produce sulfuric aerosols. These aerosols block the sun's heat, causing global temperatures to plummet. In Europe, the cold causes intolerable food shortages. Some experts believe these drove hungry peasants in France to rise up, eventually leading to the French Revolution of 1789. Across the Atlantic, temperatures also drop dramatically. On the east board of North America, the winter 1783-84 is the longest and the most severe on record. It was so cold that people saw ice flows on the river Mississippi. Larky's malign influence on the climate throws monsoon cycles into disarray, leading to widespread crop failure. Up to a sixth of Egypt's population, and many more across India and North Africa, die from starvation. So in total, Larky may have caused death of almost two million people in 1783. Despite its remote location, 
Larky had a profound effect on the entire planet. It disrupted global climate and caused deadly famines as far away as Africa and Asia. Its impact on nature, the atmosphere and the weather, people and history, in my view, makes this one of the most important natural disasters of all times. Although remote, Icelandic volcanoes can have far-reaching consequences, as recent events prove. The cloud from Larki engulfs a vast part of the Northern Hemisphere and carries with it something far more deadly than just ash. A total of 120 million tons of sulfur dioxide were emitted into the atmosphere where it reacted with atmospheric vapor to produce sulfuric aerosols. These aerosols block the sun's heat, causing global temperatures to plummet. In Europe, the cold causes intolerable food shortages. 